Hey, Coach John here with Axon Sport Performance. I've got a tip today. I don't really want to call it a tip. It's a, a look into the way that we approach training and our insight, and it's going to instantly improve the results from your training. The first concept I'm going to introduce to you today is called the concept of the central governor theory. And Professor Noakes brought this to popularity a few years ago. And ever since then, everybody from endurance communities to military special forces and everybody in between has been jumping on the bandwagon because they think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. It obviously just makes perfect logical sense as the human body is really effective at trying to survive in hostile environments. And exercise in high stress training environments is a hostile environment for the human body. So rather than use that terminology central governor throughout everything I'm going to say, I am going to refer to it as the brain. Looking at how your brain communicates in training, most of us focus our training efforts down here on the muscles. We look at movements, we look at improving skills, we look at improving strength and speed, whatever traits and characteristics your training objectives lead you to, that's typically where we focus. So I'm, I'm telling you that you're missing the boat because you're starting at the bottom instead of starting at the top. By manipulating and understanding the relationship of your brain, with the rest of your organism, your body, you can con completely change the training effect, the amount of training, and the quality of training. If we look at how the brain affects the organs, so if I'm training and my kidneys are underperforming, there are reflex signals that are going to be sent from that organ through the central nervous system back to the brain that's going to tell the brain the kidneys are in distress let's start shutting down this activity because it could put us in danger if there is a distress signal coming from your organs it will shut down the ability of the muscles to perform these things if my intestines are underperforming that means my immune system is going to suffer I'm going to be in a chronic state of inflammation if I'm in a chronic state of inflammation then everything I do is going to overstress and overtax my body. If my body is overstressed and overtaxed, how am I going to recover from training? How am I going to set that PR? How am I going to break that world record in sprinting? It's going to be very difficult for me to do because my internal systems are shutting down my external manifestations. The movements, the skills, the strength, the speed. When you hit that proverbial wall, that is a stop signal. But when you hit the wall mentally and when you hit the wall physically can be very, very different. See, that's the difference in the way that we approach things. We always want to find the why behind the what and then deconstruct that and figure out how we can make it better. This, if you get this concept and you apply it to everything that you're doing in the gym and your training, your results will skyrocket, I 100% guarantee. You want to learn more or you need some guidance? Reach out to us. I'll have one of my coaches take you by the hand and help lead you down your path to domination.